Hey, Jeff here from Deep Cycle Battery San Diego. Today we're going to, well, we already took out the eight six volt lead acid AGM batteries in a 48 volt icon. And what we're just dropped in here was a 40 or 51 volt, uh, 105 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery by Allied. So the empty compartment now gives, lends a lot of room for the Allied to sit. And you'll notice that the icon had its own icon charger. I'll talk about that in a second. The AC supply for this was here. We removed this and we're gonna install a NOCO GCP1 as a charging port for the onboard lithium charger that Allied sells you with the kit. This is the commercial Allied uh, 105 amp hour 48 volt battery. Uh, anyway, so uh, a couple people have told me in the past that you have to modify the wires coming from the Icon charger to make the cart not believe that it's in uh, charge mode. What we're going to do, and I already tested it, the leads previously to the lead acid or the AGM batteries, we're going to install these onto the Allied terminals, tricking it so it does not think that it's in uh, charge mode or park mode, whatever the uh, issue was. I've already connected them and tested it. So what now I'm about to do is use some uh, bolts, some lag bolts, and secure it to the plastic floor. I did have to take a multi-tool and cut uh, one of the uh, piece of plastic extrusions off the tray to let the battery sit flush. Um, that's really about it. Uh, you can see, I mean, this is a real simple install. Super easy. The one challenge we had was the battery fuel gauge. <laughs> uh, luckily, the customer agreed to have the fuel gauge put in this spot here that the old Icon charge indicator used to live. That came out super easy. We'll open up a hole and we'll sit the Allied charger here. Now, unfortunately, I talked to Allied. The Icon has a data dashboard that does have a battery fuel gauge that displays here, but the Allied does not communicate with the Icon, which would be really nice so the data would present here and accurately show the battery's fuel, uh, or state of charge, I should say. But at this time, it does not, so we're gonna use the Allied fuel gauge, which I like a lot. Looking at the dash, I could not find a spot that made it install cleanly, unless I used like a tachometer gauge holder and installed it up here. The customer didn't want it down here because it's just too close to their feet. Um, so anyway, we're gonna locate it in the back. But yeah, if this is if you're a DIY and you want to do your own icon uh, using the Allied, this is a very simple install. Go for it. You can do it. I hope this helps. Take care.